Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to finally try out the Unicorn Spit. So today we're using the Dolly Firebird Red, which is a metallic red. Golden Gosling, which is gold, metallic. And then Purple Hill Majesty, which is a non-metallic um, purple. So those are the three we're using. This is the purple. This is the gold. Um, this one's the red, and this is the red and gold mixed together, so it's kind of an orangey color. Uh, the black I'm using is just Artist Loft Acrylics. And then the white I'm using is um, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. And we're going to get started here. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. All of the colors are mixed with Floetrol and water. I'll put the mixing ratios and everything down in the description. We're gonna start with white in the cup there. Let's move everything over. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here with some of the orange and some of the yellow, or gold, <laughs> rather. All right. Black. Red. And purple. The flow trial did definitely lighten these colors up, just as a note. So the red kind of looks more pink, and the gold isn't like super dark gold or anything. So a little more white. I'm going to do the rest of the black and the rest of the gold, I think. Let's see. Yep. A little more orange and the rest of the purple. And then that should be good. And these are scented, guys, so they do smell good. All right. So we'll go ahead and let those help the canvas out because those are done. There's a little gold left, so I'm going to combine these for a later project. All right, we'll go ahead and I think what I want to do is kind of a traveling tree ring or wandering tour, or whatever you want to call it. I just kind of want to do, have a little fun with this. You know what, I think I might need a little more paint in there. So yeah, we're going for around 10 ounces, guys. And I think I'll start the canvas off with some white as well. Not in any specific spots, obviously. Just gonna kinda help it out there. This is what we call just winging it. <laughs> Interesting background. Okay. So interesting, I don't know if you can see that, but on that swipe, that produced some nice cells there. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. So far, so good, really cool. Still digging this um, warmer color combinations that I've been seemingly doing more and more of.
Okay, that came out amazing. <laughs> wow. Holy cow, I love that. Okay. So, I'm curious because I've never used the unicorn spit before, so I don't know how it is in terms of cells and whatnot. Um, I do see cells popping up here um, as it sits here for a minute. So let's do this. Let's, as usual, kind of let it sit and do its thing and see what else occurs on its own. And then we'll come back and we'll do a close-up. All right, so I let this sit here for about 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, some cells popped up here, but not too much. So I'm actually quite happy with this. I think it looks gorgeous. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our close-up. So here's the lower right-hand corner. Um, the purple came out really beautifully vibrant. I love that. This is definitely like, I don't know, <laughs> the lines of a really cool rock. Look at that. I'm not a geologist or anything, so I don't know, don't know too much about rocks. Uh, as you can see, since I used several metallic colors in there, you can probably see a little sheen there. Um, here's the orange, came out nice, and the red ended up mixing into a bit of a pink. So the, the only one that really didn't come out is the gold. You can kind of see it here, it did uh, turn green with the black. It didn't really stand out as gold, um, but that's okay. Still looks awesome. And then this part, just really vibrant orangey red. Really cool left-hand side over here. So yeah, very cool. So I'm really like beyond thrilled with how this came out. I would definitely say give Unicorn Spit a try. Uh, it was a lot of fun. The colors are great, you know. Um, and I'll put, I got these from Teresa at youarethearist.com. So I'll put her website and everything down in the description again in case you guys want to order some to try out yourself. But definitely a successful experiment. And don't forget to check the description for the all of the materials, all of the ratios of mixture and everything like that. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.